What's going on YouTube, Giasno right here. So in today's video, we're going to discuss about which one is the perfect version to stay on if you want to jailbreak on iOS 11.4.x or iOS 12, because there seems to be a lot of confusion about this. So I'm going to try to clear it up. You probably remember that Brendan Azad has announced that there is going to be a release of a very important vulnerability or exploit that is compatible with A12 devices as well. And he recommends people to stay on iOS 12.1.2 if they're interested in security research and of course jailbreaking and of course sorry my bad has also released this a few days ago which is pretty much a write-up containing a very important vulnerability that he found and of course he does give you the information in here on how to get the kernel task port so this one can be used for jailbreaking and you probably know about these because i talked about them on my channel quite a lot so yeah what is the perfect version to stay on should you update to ios 12.1.2 stay on ios 12.1.1 or whatever so in order to tell which one is the best version to stay on we're going to go ahead in here and see which ones are signed so yeah if you take a look in here there is ios 12.1.3 which is definitely the worst version you can stay on in terms of jailbreaking all of these vulnerabilities i'm talking about have been patched on ios 12.1.3 now definitely there is no doubt that there are vulnerabilities for ios 12.1.3 that will be released in the future but for the moment all the known vulnerabilities that can be used for a jailbreak are patched in 12.1.3 if you're running iOS 12.1.2, whichever version here, you should definitely stay there, do not update further. However, if you can, you can definitely downgrade to iOS 12.1.1 while it's still possible. As far as I remember, iOS 12.1.1 and iOS 12.1.2 are identical security-wise, so if a jailbreak works on iOS 12.1.1, it should definitely work on 12.1.2 as well. However, if the jailbreak works on iOS 12.1.2 and lower, it may not work on iOS 12.1.3 because there are no vulnerabilities available for the iOS 12.1.3. If you're running iOS 12.0 all the way up to iOS 12.1, however, I wouldn't update the iOS 12.1.2. Yes, the vulnerabilities are indeed compatible with iOS 12.1.2 and lower, but it's better to stay as low as possible. The only exception to the rule I can think of is when the version you're currently on has serious known bugs that you would definitely need to, you know, escape from, and you would go a version up, but do not go to iOS 12.1. 1.3. However, if you're running iOS 11.4 or iOS 11.4.1, which as you can see here are currently not signed anymore, definitely stay there. It's better than any iOS 12 version and the reason for that is that you may get a jailbreak actually faster because there's actually less work to be done in order to get a jailbreak for iOS 11.4.1 or iOS 11.4. See, the iOS 12 also introduces the core trust and other things that we'll have to deal with when we're building a jailbreak so yeah definitely better to stay on iOS 11.4.1 or iOS 11.4 if you're already there since these do not have the core trust and other stuff so TFP0 is all it takes to port the existing jailbreaks like the uncover to work with this speaking of which if you're running iOS 11.3.1 or lower you should definitely not update any version of iOS 12 if you're already jailbroken with uncover I would definitely recommend you to stay the uncover is is a very well updated jailbreak works fine and is definitely going to be supported in the future so yeah i do not see why you would lose your jailbreak to go to a newer version however one thing everybody should do regardless of the version you're running is to save your blobs in order to do that you navigate in here to tsssaver.onecanon.com and of course you input your details in here like the acid and the device type and save your blobs this would allow you to perform restores and you know downgrades and upgrades in the future using future restore and of course it's various forks like southwest one in here which is compatible with ios 12 and works fine even with the a12 devices by the looks of it so yeah definitely save your blobs so yeah this is pretty much it guys thank you for watching do not forget to subscribe to stay updated i want to keep you updated with anything that's going on in the jailbreak community i'm gsnow until the next time peace out